Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today, we're taking a look at Chris Hines' solo strings complete. the gate this a collection of instruments is expressive and powerful right out of the box it's uh, almost incredible once you put the time in to start programming the correct timbers articulations and the different performance controls After the success of Chris Hines' solo violin, he followed up with a viola, cello, and the bass, which is still soon to be released. If you do pick up the complete collection, you will get the bass once it is released for free. Each of the instruments contain over 10,000 samples, 38 articulations with about eight dynamic layers, and one of the big kickers here for me, four different legato transitions. Chris Hines' solo strings complete sells for 599 euros from Best Service. The first highlight for the instruments is the vast array of articulations. <laughs> instrument's articulation set makes other string libraries uh, look extremely slim down once you dig in. You got two full octaves of key switches that you can load up your different articulations. And as a collection, the contact instruments utilize the same engine. Once you learn one of the solo string instruments, you've learned them all. The next big highlight for the instrument is the uh, timbre, and that really comes down to two different IR controls. You've got one designed for a body. With a number of presets. as well as the ability to select several different rooms. Now this alone changes the timbre and sound of the playback so much that you could use this instrument for just about any kind of style, as well as what I believe is quartet usage, obviously solo usage, as well as uh, first string usage if you want to get a little bit of a bite to play along with your sections. The final part I want to touch on uh, is the playback. Chris Hines developed a phase alignment uh, technique, and it's really gorgeous transitioning uh, cross fades between the different dynamics. There's also a note head functionality, which is really cool. One thing about this is it, it can let you do a very a uh, beautiful legato, but you could add a short note to the beginning, give it a little bit of bite. It also comes with a settings panel, several different controls, as well as an effects and equalizer, and a panel dedicated to a vibrato control, which I am a huge fan of. If there's anything that drives me nuts, it's baked in vibrato on a playback of a sample library or virtual instrument. 
Chris Hine has taken this uh, even further with controls over uh, vibrato speed, as well as presets for the vibrato settings. Now, if there's anything I'm going to be critical of with this instrument, it's the GUI. And it's not that I don't like the way it looks, and it's not that I don't like the way that you interact with it. It's that it starts out small and then jumps to a bigger size. And now this may seem like a superficial critique, but one of the rules of great interface design is to always have your navigation in the same place. And that's where this interface falls short. You can kind of play around with an articular nation or two and using the mod wheel for some expression, but to really get the most out of the library, you will need to program in some MIDI CCs, maybe a second pass with some more expression controlling your vibrato. And especially to get the most out of this library, you're going to want to really dig in, jump to different articulations. Even if you're doing short articulations, you'll want to try and hear what all six of those shorts sound like so you can get the most out of the performance to get it as lifelike as possible, which is really the strength of this collection. Another huge pro is obviously the body control, the ability to change the timbre, uh, to change the size of the instrument really takes it to another level. Be sure to include a link to the sample library review of Chris Hines solo string page, which will include a full written review as well as demos and any other videos we can find about the instrument. What about you guys? Are you familiar with Chris Hines instruments? Are you using any of his other libraries, the brass, the woodwinds? And if so, are you thinking about picking up these solo strings? Please comment in the description below. I'd love to hear about your experience. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'd love your support here. And be sure to head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest reviews and news on software and virtual instruments. Mm -hmm.